Again, let's find the asymptotes. First step, vertical asymptotes. We want to make sure we factor this, though, don't we? x uh, plus 2 times x minus 1. This is a difference of two squares. Does anything factor out for holes? No. So guess what? We're pretty good with now we can just set our denominator, the factored form. Yes? Yes. Oh, it's actually not. It's actually not. It's on another group homework. It's number 41 in the book, though. Sorry, this is actually the one that's not in the book. Or not in your homework that I assigned to your class. So vertical asymptote um, is just going to be setting the denominator equal to 0. Well, since I already factored it, let's just use that form. Set them equal to 0. Hopefully you guys follow me that x equals positive 3 and x equals negative 3. Cool? Um, the next one is the horizontal asymptote. Now, what we need to know is when the degrees are exactly the same, when the degrees are exactly, so remember the last one, the denominator was greater, right? The degree and the denominator was greater in the last example. Now the degrees are exactly the same. So what we do for that is we take the ratio of the leading coefficient over the leading coefficient. So y equals 1 over 1, or we could just write it as y equals 1. Okay? You guys need to know all three horizontal asymptote tests. And, ladies and gentlemen, since there is now a horizontal asymptote, do we have a slant? No. no. Done. All right, let's do x and y intercepts a little bit.